So many of you have faced tremendous hardship and you boldly move forward in the name of knowledge. We have to seize this moment to strengthen ties between the people of our nations and further our scientific progress. Russia's unprovoked invasion has threatened not just Ukraine, but the entire world. We are going to ensure Ukraine will not just survive, it will thrive. And that goes for the entire region. There is no future for Ukraine without Ukrainian science. And there is no future for humanity on this planet without international collaboration. Today, we were able to deliver a program to support teams of researchers from Ukraine with a partner already here in Poland and networking with international colleagues. This grant is extremely important for me because I was unemployed. A lot of scientists in Ukraine lost their positions. We don't have enough funds for science and just for my family to have money to survive. You know. My project is focused on soil pollution with heavy metals due to missile attacks, heavy bombing, artillery shelling of Ukrainian cities and agricultural lands by Russian invaders. I am a chemist. When I arrived to Polish Academy of Science, we start to think how we can adapt hydrogels for agricultural purpose. I have husband and son. They stay in Kyiv and I am nervous because we have daily Russian attacks. But I have to continue to work to support my family, to support my colleagues. I hope to be useful for my country. My research project is about disease. Our aim is to find molecular targets for potential therapeutic use. One of the main goals was to support young Ukrainian scientists that are able to rebuild Ukrainian science after the war. I hope that this war will end soon. There is damage to everything, but at this stage it is not something that cannot be rebuilt. Young people are going to be the future of Ukraine. And it's so thrilling to see the quality of the research that they've proposed under this program. Russia continues to launch missiles and bombs attack on peaceful cities and civilian infrastructure, including the scientific uh, institution. Thousands of Ukrainian scientists have found shelter and work at the universities and scientific institutions across the world. We express our sincere gratitude to all those who support us and provide financial material aid to our colleagues. This has been an unrequested opportunity for us to get together, but I think we will all emerge much stronger thanks to it. So thank you very much. <laughs>